Did someone say hiking? You don't have to tell me twice. I was ready and willing to get outdoors and enjoy this beautiful color on foot. Much of the state forest land originated after large forest fires during the early 1900s and many areas were replanted by the Civilian Conservation Corps. We wouldn't be hiking alone and would be joined by Jack Peterson, a local hiker. Jack would be our guide and give us some insight into the trails and their surroundings. One of the things that I always like to do is go out hiking, no matter what time of the year it is, but especially here in the fall. We're up to the Ogham Hills Pathway, and this is just a, a beautiful area up here. There's a lot of hills and a lot of pathway. I'm with uh, Jack Peterson right now, and Jack uh, knows this area pretty good. He's from the area, retired school teacher, and he comes out here hiking, biking, and skiing quite often. Is that right, Jack? That's right. Okay, tell us a, a little bit about the trail. What are we going to get into here? Well, it's very hilly. Um, it's a mixed hardwood forest. Uh, there are about 30 miles of trails out here. So we can, uh, we might encounter anything. Uh, I'm sure we'll uh, run across some animals, uh, hear some, and maybe see some. In terms of forest cover types, this area varies from large expansions of jack pine on the sandy plains to low conifer swamps. The tree species are primarily associated with jack pine, red pine, and black oak in the sandy areas. Finally, on the ridges along the higher elevations, big tooth aspen and red oak are found on the better quality soils. Much of the state forest land originated after large forest fires during the early 1900s, and many areas were replanted by the Civilian Conservation Corps. We notice as we've been walking along the trail that every so often we're finding benches. So if you are out here, you want to stop and take a rest, there is a place to sit down, maybe have a bite to eat, just relax and, and, and enjoy the solitude that's out here. Um, they look like they're setting awful high though, Jay. Well, for right now they are. You can jump up there if you're hiking, but when you're skiing in the winter, uh, they'll be at normal level because you'll be on a couple feet of snow here. Okay. Snowpack. <laughs> that makes sense. When I first looked at that, I thought, this sure is odd, but then that makes sense. There that's how we do it. You know, Great day. It really is, you know. It's supposed to get warmer through the rest of the week, and this is just, it, like I said, it's hard to believe it's October. But this is what many times we call the Indian summer. It's that, that late period that it warms up and it's really nice, and the colors come out. Yes. And uh, it's that way quite a bit up here. So, well, I guess I can't really guarantee that, but... Uh, but it's that way when we come here, so, so it's, it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful day. day, just beautiful.